Hey, ANC Prep Digital. And for today's episode, we will have our pledges, an ASU fun fact, a Spanish phrase of the week, two fun at homes, and an interview. Go Sun Devils! Bye! Good morning, Sun Devils. I am Julianne, and t- this morning we are going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great week. Go Sun Devils. Bye. Good morning, ASU Prep Digital Sun Devils. My name is Naomi. Please mute your mic and join me for the ASU Prep Digital Student Pledge. I am a proud ASU Prep Digital Sun Devil. This means I am ambitious, sincere, unique, prepared, and dependable. I take pride in my work, I respect myself and others, I accept responsibility for my attitude, words, and actions. I will do my personal best for this is the Sun Devil way. Work hard, be kind, dream big. Go Sun Devils! Hello everyone, welcome to today's Fun at Home segment. For today's Fun at Home segment, we are going to be doing a really cool magic trick with a water bottle and a pen. If you're going to be doing this magic trick, you are going to be needing to wear jeans. Now you're going to want to take your pen and you're going to r- want to rub it in the crease of, of your pants that's um, in between your knee. Do this. You're going to want to do this for about a few seconds. So maybe like three or four. You're going to want to balance your pen on your water bottle and then you're going to want to take your finger and... It'll follow your finger as if you have magical levitating powers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this fun at home segment. And as always, go Sunday.
Welcome, viewers. We are so excited to introduce you to a special guest. Please welcome ASU Prep Digital High School student and author, Ashley Nevison. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here. Thank you for being here, Miss Ashley. We would love to ask you a few questions to get to know you better. First, will you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so my name is Ashley. I am 15 years old and a freshman at ASU Prep Digital. And when I'm not at school, I am training in my pre-professional ballet program, training to be the best ballerina I possibly can. And then I'm also a three-time author and illustrator of children's books. Thank you. Our next question is, what inspired you to become an illustrator? Great question. So when I was eight years old, I was severely bullied and lost all of my confidence and self-esteem. Long story short, I got a, medal, a letter in the mail from a pageant that is a scholarship pageant, and I entered it hoping it would bring back my confidence. In pageants, one thing you probably don't know is that you need a, a platform. A platform is essentially something you're very passionate about and that you bring awareness to. And my platform was reading books to kindergartners through fifth graders. And at one of my readings, I realized that there are hardly any books talking about bullying for younger kids. So I really wanted to take matters into my own hands and write my own children's book, kind of about my own story with a little twist because it has monsters in it because I can't draw people. So it has monsters. And I fell in love with the process so much that I wrote my second and my third children's book. And now I have my fourth and fifth on the way. What advice would you give young writers wanting to write? I would give young writers two simple words, just do it. If you are on the fence about writing and illustrating a book, if you don't know what to do, just start writing. And if you ever get a writer's block, take a step back, go do something that you find fun, like an activity, go for a walk, go play with an animal, read another book, um, and then come back to writing your book once you are ready to write again. If you're on the fence, it's the best thing and the, it's the best feeling. I would just do it so much because I had so much fun doing it and I promise you probably will too. That is so cool. Will you tell us a little bit, um, a little bit about your published books and the books you have planned for the future? Yeah, so I have three books. My first one is called Gino and the Monster Bully, and all of my books are available on Amazon. My second book is We Are So Beautiful, which talks all about kindness, diversity, and inclusion. And then my third book is all about volunteer service and showing all the different activities that younger kids can do. And then my fourth book, which is on the way being published on June 9th, is all about saving the ocean. We don't have a title yet, but there's something in the works, but I can't share it yet. And then my fifth book is going to be about Arizona and all the beautiful, beautiful things about Arizona and all the amazing things that you have to go see when you're visiting. And all of the proceeds that I make off of my books get directly donated to my 501c3, which is called Surgeon's Army. And one hope bag into the community is actually one book sold on Amazon. So when you're buying a book, you're not only learning about something, you're also helping the community. You've accomplished so much. You're very inspiring. Thank you for coming today and spending time with us. We have one final and very important question for you. At ASU Prep Digital, we follow a code called Sparky's Code, which is work hard, be kind, dream big. How would you say that you use Sparky's Code in your daily life? I like to say that my motto is spread kindness like confetti, and I always am spreading kindness no matter where I go, kind of just throwing it in the air like confetti, um, and everywhere I go, anyone I meet, they probably can tell you I've given them some sort of kindness act, um, like a random act of kindness, anything. You'll probably see me dropping kindness rocks everywhere, um, but Anything I can do to spread kindness, I'm always doing that. And then I like to dream as big as I possibly can because if you don't have big dreams, you're not motivated to do a lot of things. So I like to work hard to make sure my huge dreams become my reality. And I had a dream so big to publish my first book. And then my, my next two, which were an even bigger dream. And now I have bigger dreams to continue publishing and spreading the word to as many kids as possible about so many issues that children face on a day-to-day -day basis. 
Thank you for joining us today for an interview. It was nice getting to meet you. Thank you for watching this special episode of SDND The Spoil. Hi, my name is Zoe Adam, and today the Spanish phrase of the week is Have a great week, go Sun Devils, which is in Spanish. Que tengas una buena semana. Vamos, demonios del sol. Thank you for watching. Bye.